Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the Sig Sauer P320 M17. This is the handgun that was awarded the contract to the US Army. It's a full size with a 4.7 inch barrel and 17 round mags. Also comes with mags that carry 21 rounds. Let's go ahead and take a few shots and then we'll talk more about it. All right, I love full-size handguns. They're just so accurate, and I consider them confidence boosters at the range. I like that PVD coating. It's coyote tanned with the slide. It has forward serrations equipped with night sights. All right, it has the uh, X-ray 3 and the rear night sight there. This also has a thumb safety, ambidextrous thumb safety, as mentioned. 17 and 21 round mags. It has a curved trigger. A curved trigger, so we may expect it to have an X trigger because that seems to be six hours upgrade. But this doesn't have that. It has the curved trigger. Most likely it was requested by the US Army. A pick rail right there, standard P320 disassemble. Cool looking gun. A uh, little, little thick in the grip, I will say. It is optic ready, and and you will have to take the rear sight, the night sights will have to be removed when you take that optic off. Okay, so you pretty much reliant on the optic, but overall not bad. Now that was my second mag. I had to adjust a little bit, but I think I did okay with it. And we're gonna load it up and try it some more now. The MSRP, we don't know. SIG doesn't put it on their site, but if you look at many of the online retailers, you're looking at 650 on average. You tack on your, your shipping, your FFL fee, your tax and everything, you're in the mid to lower 700. So it's not inexpensive, but you know, the, the P320, the ever expanding line of P320s, is just continuing on it's, it's still continuing on to this day this has been around a little while though this is a new handgun it requires a strong charge we should be doing that anyways but if you don't do it all the way it will stick at the end like that most likely just a break-in issue but nonetheless something worth mentioning now this is the 21 round mag they offer two of these and you can see it hangs down quite a bit so if you have gorilla size hands, you're all set with the P320M17. Let's go ahead and take a few shots and then we'll try one handed here. See how it goes. All right, let's see. Remember I said that about confidence? Let's see. I better shoot at this. There we go. All right, so, <laughs> so I'm not a one-handed expert, okay? All right, so I was just told by Ryder that I was shooting high left with one-handed, so I'm gonna try to make the adjustment here. And there we go. So I now nominate myself a decent one-handed shooter anyhow. But if you love the P320, you'll like this. It's priced fairly. It's not a steal, okay, even at 650. You'll see 650 online, most likely around seven and a quarter at your local gun store. In my estimation, that's essentially the same price. But it's a full-size gun, would compete well with the Glock 17. One of the things that people either love or hate is the thumb safety. Now, this was a requirement for the military. They said, we want a thumb safety, and so that's why this has it on there. Also, the, the color, okay? Flat dark earth frame, 
coyote tan PVD coated slide. And then if we look, we will notice after you push that lever down that it comes off. And basically what we have here is a P320. All right, so it's a, it's a, it's a good shooting. You know, the, the P320, when it came out the gate, it was a huge hit. A lot of people, once again, oh, that was a Glock killer. That's a Glock killer. And they say that all the time. It's a Glock killer. And then it had the drop safe issues. And ever since then, everyone they come out with, the people say, well, does that have drop safe issues? You know, is it going to fire and shoot me the leg? Sig fixed that. They took care of that. They had a, a, a voluntary recall, whatever. The newer ones are, are fine. You don't have to worry about that from everything that I've heard and experienced. I have the X Compact, and I think that's pretty awesome as well. But I'm still getting used to this gun. Let me fire it some more. Here we have tool steel case ammo. Let's see how it runs with the M17. When I slam a mag home, it does not charge the slide. So whether you like that or not, you now know what the P320 will do. I always do that. I'll start a sentence, I'll start shooting and come back and typically I forget what I said, or what I started. Nonetheless, Steel case was no problem. I wouldn't expect it to be, but it's still good to check that out at the range because sometimes, you know, it's dirty, it's steel, and some handguns struggle with that. Let's see if the P320 M17 will pass a liparous test. We already know that it will not charge when slamming a mag home. But the liparous test, you know, the, the U.S. Army chose this. People have their opinions about that. But it went through some rigorous testing. I have to believe this is going to be fine. <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> Really, really firm. I mean, it, this is doing well. One thing I did not mention is that it has a bar right there. Loaded chamber indicator bar that sticks up. But it passed the lip wrist test with fly colors. As I mentioned, 4.7 inch barrel, forward serrations, optic ready, night sights, three mags. Overall, Pretty nice handgun here. Had no issues with it at, at the range today, and I, I'm gonna shoot it some more off camera because I like the way this thing is working. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.